Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Daily Digital Show. My name is Junior, and I am here to keep you all well informed on what's going on in our digital world. Today's date is Saturday, August the 20th, and I have a wonderful show for you guys here today. Four things off the block that we're going to be talking about. Uh, one is going to be about a, I guess it's called an ultrasound, but you don't actually have to go into the doctors to get the ultrasound. Uh, we'll touch on more about that. The next one is about Dubai. Dubai is trying to become basically the metaverse capital of the entire world. Uh, the next one is going to be about a place in which you can basically showcase your N <clears throat> your NFTs or a method the way you can show showcase your NFTs uh, artwork. And the last one is going to be about a company who is taking on blockchain and using it for mobile device services. So uh, without further ado, we are going to take a quick break and then we will jump right into it. All right, and it looks like we are back here. Thank you all again for joining me uh, for the Daily Digital Show. So, so the first thing that I have here off the block is going to be about how some MIT engineers, they went ahead and developed a stamp size sticker that can actually perform ultrasounds. Uh, and this is really actually pretty amazing. So essentially, uh, if you don't know what ultrasound is, kind of like a X-ray vision into the body, uh, I think, Mostly women who are pregnant, they get ultrasounds um, to see how the baby is performing and developing inside the body. And essentially what this is going to do is be able to perform the ultrasound itself. So you guys can kind of see what it looks like here. It looks like a like really a mini processor, um, or microcomputer or whatever for, for computers. Um, and it says it's at two centimeters across and three millimeters stick. I mean, that's really, really small. We're talking millimeters and centimeters here, not even inches. Um, the tiny ultrasound device can be worn for up to 48 hours. They adhere to the body using a sort of elastomer sandwich. While one layer clings to the skin, the other attaches to an array of transducers, MIT custom design for the project. Uh, between the elastomer layers sits a thin spread of hydrogel the same cold jelly spread on the skin during a traditional ultrasound, which acts as a medium of acoustic waves. Uh, and it seems like you can actually go to the store or they're going to make it able to go to the store, buy a whole box of them. Uh, I don't know, maybe like one a month or something like that during pregnancy. Um, and so these acoustic waves are what form in an ultrasound image, the applications of which are endless. Um, many, while many associate ultrasounds with distinguishing the sex of a baby, uh, which is kind of what I just did, uh, the technology is frequently used to find gallstones, guide biopsies, monitor tumor progression, and diagnose conditions from blood flow obstructions to kidney disease. Some of these applications are relatively quick and can be performed in a few minutes, while other require longer, steadier uh, internal monitoring that's where the um, stickers come in so just imagine someone hovering over your body trying to check some vitals in you for let's say a I don't know a, a gallstone or a tumor or something like that and they said you need to be really steady really for a long time uh, that's actually hard on the person hard on the doctor doing it um, so now with these 48 hour stickers that you can put on your body so 48 hours is two days you can actually have that, you know, technology working on you while you sleep, while you eat, while you play, while you do pretty much whatever um, without having to go into the doctor's office and stay there for like, you know, 48 hours yourself. Yeah, that's what they're saying here. It isn't practical to require an ultrasound technician to hold a transducer over a patient's body for hours at a time between technician discomfort and staffing concerns. Uh, longer ultrasounds like this also allow the uh, hydrogel on the patient's body to dry out, which interrupts the imaging process. Some hospitals have the privilege of attaching transducers to robotic arms for extended periods of time, but that doesn't fix the hydrogel issue. Um, so I guess they're actually solving a real problem here. Like I said, I always thought it was just for ultrasounds. I guess, I guess women share their ultrasounds on like social media and stuff like that all the time. Um, really cool to see, you know, I guess a, a baby at that stage, I guess. Um, but this actually can go further. It can actually do a whole lot more. 
Uh, they've tested these out on people's necks, chest, abdomen, and arms. Uh, despite performing activities like biking, jogging, and weightlifting, um, uh, the stickers remain attached to the volunteer's body and continue to provide clear internal imaging. Yeah, the, M the team at MIT is still working to make the device 100% wireless, meaning it'll be a long while before the public gets to try sticker ultrasounds for themselves. Uh, so I guess once they become more wireless, then it'll be a whole lot better um in that case we envision a few patches adhere to different locations on the body and the patches would communicate with your cell phone where ai algorithms uh would analyze the images on demand uh, so again again some artificial intelligence into that process in which they can actually send all of that data over to your cell phone and then therefore um you know, see what's exactly going on in your body for up to 48 hours. So I think this is actually really, really cool. Um, I didn't even realize they, they use an AI algorithms to, you know, figure out what's going on uh, with the imaging. But I think that's, that's you know, actually a plus side because um, it's AI is really being taught a whole lot of stuff here. All righty. And for the next thing that we have off the block here is Dubai. So this title here is kind of uh, interested to me because it's saying that Dubai wants to be the web three slash metaverse capital of the world when the you know metaverse is like everywhere it's not <laughs> it's not really a part of the world uh so it's going to be quite interesting i guess they're just saying that hey we want to be at the forefront of all of this metaverse technology web three technology uh which dubai is actually you know a really advanced futuristic type of city anyway so it's going to be interesting to see there and uh, as you can see kind of here through the article everything is becoming more decentralized allowing investors to see that the value crypto brings is not just about tokens that go up and down in price but the crypto is a peer-to-peer -peer transaction system that is fast connected to all aspects of web3 um, and the metaverse and this is how tech will evolve and be pushed to the next level and since then the government around the world have announced billions of dollars of funding for metaverse and web 3.0 development uh, the government of dubai looks like they are trying to 5x the amount of blockchain and metaverse companies within the next five years uh, they are trying to put 40,000 new jobs or metaverse to support 40,000 new virtual jobs to add 44 billion dollars to dubai's economy in uh, five years and then lastly, to become the number one in the region and one of the top 10 cities globally in terms of metaverse economy. Um, and this is kind of just a short article, really just kind of touching on, I guess, what they plan to do. Um, which I mentioned, the 40,000 new jobs, the $4 billion into the economy. Uh, that's the reason for that a summit such as Meta V Summit exists meta v summit helps bring the top web 3.0 and metaverse companies from over 20 countries to meet um, investors and strat strategic partners in dubai with the help of title sponsor cy coin uh, which is one of the largest web 3.0 ecosystems projects with their own metaverse meta v summit will bring together hundreds of founders and engineers from the metaverse and web 3.0 world to showcase their companies and innovations in Dubai September 14th to the 15th in 2022. So yeah, this one here is also pretty interesting. I am really curious to see uh, how Dubai is going to, uh, I mean, me honest, Dubai is like I said, a really big technology company or technology city anyway. So I don't see any problems with them really being at the forefront of the metaverse and all that stuff. Um, I won't be making it to Dubai September 14th to 15th for the summit, but if anybody does definitely please do, um, share that information so I can, uh, um, know what's going on with them. I'm pretty sure they're going to have like, you know, a YouTube recap or, uh, maybe they might even have a virtual version of it playing around somewhere. So, uh, we'll see if they want to become the metaverse capital, they gotta, they gotta start hosting some of these summits in the metaverse, you know, um, to make it more accessible to the people. All right, so the next thing that I have here is going to be about a company called Dent Wireless. So Dent Wireless has actually been around for a few years. Um, they have their own coin now, which is called Dent Coin. And I think I saw something here. Um, <clears throat> 
about how long they've been around. Maybe it was art another article I was looking at, but uh, Dent is essentially a blockchain-based marketplace that enables users to trade their mobile data in a streamlined and straightforward manner. Their technology is a first of its kind and has the potential to make the telecom telecom industry much more efficient and cost-effective. Dent allows users to sell their extra mobile data, which may have been left over at the end of the month to someone else via the use of an all-in-one app. The platform employs transparent pricing practices along with an automated bidding module um, allowing for increased efficiency, increased purchase efficiency. Uh, and lastly, all internal transactions are facilitated through the use of Dent coins, which are given to users in exchange of their mobile data. Uh, then it kind of jumps in here about how all of this works. Uh, it's basically a sharing model for mobile data. So um, I don't want to say back in the day, but when cell phones really started to come out, there was a thing called a minute. And people used to have to buy minutes from the mobile company, uh, which is just basically saying, hey, this is how much of your data I want to receive. Um, let's say like an hour's worth, which would be 60 minutes or something like that. And it'd be like 10 bucks for, for every one hour or something like that. Uh, now, you can go ahead and purchase that same data, but you know it's, it's yours. You own it. You can do whatever you want with it. If you did not use up all of your minutes, um, the cell phone companies would basically take them back pretty much. I mean, they, they, didn't, they didn't give you anything for them. They didn't you know, pay you off for them. It was like, hey, I didn't see you use up all 60 of your minutes. Uh, here's the cost of it. Or they didn't let you roll it over to the next month, yada, yada, yada. They just accepted your money and said, all right, well, thanks. You need more minutes next month kind of thing. So now with Dent Wireless, it looks like they are trying to be a bit more on the side of the user where, hey, once we buy our own data, we get to keep our own data. And then we now become the cell phone provider because we get to sell our data to other people. We get to buy data from other people. It's all really a connected network. Um, Dent builds a community of telco customers like a union to leverage the collective buying power to drive change for a telco each customer is highly valuable. Combining just 2 million customers per represents $920 million. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, they got an about the company here, the Dent Impact. They have strategic partnerships with significant mobile carriers around the world, including AT&T and Verizon, Airtel, Vivo, Claro, uh, America Mobile, and Tele um, Telefonica. Where can you buy Dent? Uh, looks like CoinRail, QCoin, QC Coin. That might be a typo there. Um, OKX and Fork Delta. And I wonder, I wonder if there is some sort of like um, market cap on Dent. Like basically, if we use our data, does it go back into circulation kind of thing? Or once we sell it, does it just stay in our wallets until we use it and it goes back into circulation? Um, like what if all the data is, I guess all the data can't be sold because people are going to be making phone calls. People are going to be making text messages and, uh, and so far and so on. Um, but yeah, so I just want to show you guys this. This is also a video down here. I'm not going to play the video. I am just going to jump over to the actual Dent website where you can kind of see uh, just what it looks like or whatever. Not going to kind of dive too much deep into it. Um, but yeah, it's just really all about mobile data sharing. So you have your data on your phone. You, it's yours. You get to do whatever you want with it. And, um, and yeah, that's... Uh, That's about it there. Um, they got a bunch of stuff here. Dent Exchange, Dent Swap, Teams, eSIM, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, so the last thing that I have here is going to be Mural. Not spelled the same way. Spelled with the E-M-E-U-R-A-L. And Mural is just basically a, um, not a marketplace, but a way to share your nfts so say for example and i don't to say nft so any digital artwork that you may have uh looks like here they have like a kid's drawing instead of putting that kid's drawing up onto <laughs> you know the um 
refrigerator like our parents used to do back in the day. Uh, they're actually taking these kids' drawings, turning them into a digital version. I mean, these kids are using like Procreate to make these drawings anyway, so just download a version of it and then put it up on one of these murals, uh, which is actually a really cool idea. So uh, you can bring your photos to life, take your favorite photos from phone to frame instantly and even share them with loved ones. <laughs> I just thought of something crazy. Imagine like just driving down the street uh, and uploading your own weird looking picture into somebody else's house uh, just for fun. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, never mind. Uh, so explore art, get inspired, old art, new art, NFT, crypto art, and everything in between. Mural lets you enjoy over $3 billion of art in one digital frame. Make your decor dynamic. The mural library constantly brings you new playlist artists and works so your wall is never boring. Display with pride whatever your little one's artistic style. Mural showcases their, their best work and lets their creativity shine. Um, looks like they have multiple sizes. They have a 13 and a half by seven and a half. They got a 16 by 24 and then also a 19 by 29. Uh, they may have more than that as well um i mean i like this i like this so um then you also can do async art which is um a new form of kind of like nft artwork in which you can utilize these same exact Im image in multiple different uh methods i'm gonna actually actually do it um i'm actually gonna do a, a show on async it's like a whole company if you go to async.art i believe that's the website um i might have to do a show on that for sure um Big or small, doesn't matter the size, they have it on app, and uh, you can buy it directly through Netgear, which is the website I'm on here now, netgear.com, and uh, I guess, yeah, I guess Netgear is the one who made it, I'm not 100% sure, I didn't see any history on that, um, but I'll make sure I have the link to the um, article or link to the website in the description below. Uh, so yeah, so tell me what you guys think about all of this, um, I'm actually very, very, very excited for the dent wireless I probably myself will be using because it, it really never made sense to me when I was um, using cell phones and buying minutes and stuff like that to actually buy minutes like how can you buy a minute you can't you know a minute is not even it doesn't even exist time is just ever going you can't just buy a minute hold on to it and then use it later I understand the process I don't know why they call it minutes but I understand the process of hey it's just you're just buying uh, storage space for mobile data until you use it but then if you don't use it you lose it whatever um, but now I can understand buying a block on a blockchain and or token for a blockchain or whatever um, and then actually using it later on when I need to or when I want to um, and I'm also actually excited for the uh, what's it called the sticker the sticker for the ultrasounds and tumors and stuff like that um, that's a really cool technology I think when uh, if you you know, we're out someplace and um, you felt something was wrong. You can just kind of like pop that sticker on, get a view of what's going on in your body, send it to your doctor, say, hey, do I need to come into the hospital or not? Your doctor could say, yes, you should, or no, you shouldn't, and kind of save you uh, a lot of money in that sense because medical bills are like through the roof. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about all of this. I will be uh, at all my social media channels. Of course, you can reach out to me. Uh, in the comments below this video, let me know what you guys think as well. I'll be interested to hear what more that you guys have and also share with me some of the digital things that you guys are coming up with as well. Um, and if nothing else, you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Today's Saturday, so we're not here tomorrow, uh, but I will catch you guys all on Monday.